everybody, independent schools, everybody, must become child advocates. That we must come together around a consensus agenda and we work on things together. The children, they need hope desperately. They need to see that there's a future. They need to see that there's somebody who cares about them. They need to see that somebody sees them and hears them and pay attention to them. And the other thing that really, in a sense, helped spark the Children's Defense Fund, I went out into the schools the day after Dr. King was assassinated to tell the middle school children not to, not to riot and not to, you know, be violent. And the little boy said, I said, because you'll lose your future, you'll mess up your future. He said, lady, what future? I ain't got no future. I ain't got nothing to lose. And I've been trying to prove that boy's truth wrong for the last 50 years. Our children need to be heard and they need to be given hope. They need to be given opportunity. They need to be given a future, not risky. So all of us need to really focus in on how we're going to give every child a level playing field so that they can succeed and contribute to everything. We need to be personal. We need to go out and see the children who are suffering in poverty in neighborhoods where they're scared to go out the front door because of guns, um, who don't have health care. And so this is the time for everybody to wake up and say we are going to move forward, that we are not going to cut more children's programs and safety net programs for the poor and low-income working people. It's not right. So we need a voice from those who have clout on behalf of those who don't have clout. And, you know, you give away your children, you're going to give away your soul, and you're going to give away your future. But this is an opportunity for people to come and do what is right and just. Stand up and fight to retain all of the progress we've made for children over the last 50 years. And let's go together and build this a positive agenda to end child poverty in our day.